What's up guys, welcome back to Gen Lounge. I'm George, if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. Today, we are driving the Alfa Romeo Giulia. Um, basically, Alfa Romeo let me borrow the car for a week, so I figured I'd hop on here and do a little review, show you guys what it's all about, if it's fun, if it's worth it, and uh, you know, kind of just talk about the ride. So guys, this is probably our third car review on our YouTube channel. We don't do them that often, but I think we need to do a little bit more of them. And I'm still getting the hang of this, so bear with me. But for us, we are car guys. Like we know the torque, we know the horsepower, we know the zero to 60. Um, we've been on a few track days, we've driven some cars. But guys, we are not racing enthusiasts. So this is gonna be more about how the car feels to me to drive on a regular basis in LA, on the freeway, that kind of thing, like everyday, daily driving. If you guys want a race car or a racer review, there's plenty of channels out there that do that. Um, this is just not gonna be one of those reviews. So I've been driving this car for about six days total. I spent about three days in LA with it and was driving it you know, in LA traffic, on the streets, and. It's a super comfortable ride. So the Julia actually does have a sporty, stiff suspension, but it definitely doesn't feel like, you know, you can just feel every bump in the road. And there is an option if you are in dynamic mode to dampen the suspension and make it softer. So you get a more flowy ride, but you still get the power behind the pedal, which, you know, is the fun part really, guys. So this car has the DNA mode settings, which basically means D is dynamic, gets you, you know, this kind of like a sport mode, N is the natural normal mode, and then A is kind of like your eco mode, so you can kind of cruise, save gas mileage. You don't get as much power behind the pedal, but you do save some gas mileage. Whew. Guys, it is 104 degrees out here, and I turned the air conditioning off because I wanted you guys to be able to hear this review, but I am sweating, I apologize, so. Bear with me on this one. This is not going to be a style video. This is a driving video. But no, this car is super fun, super comfortable. Um, the seats really, really hug you tight. So if you are like a bigger guy, I don't know if this is going to be the right car for you because I'm on the bigger side and I still feel like I'm being squeezed tightly. It's nice, like a, like a small hug. But, you know, if you are a little bit bigger than me, I, I could see this being a little uncomfortable for you but it's nice when you're taking it around turns because you're kind of already in there and you're, you don't feel like you're sliding around the car. So we're driving the Julia TI Carbon model. So it has 280 horsepower, um, definitely very, very quick. I think zero to 60 in four point some seconds. And you know, it's a ton of fun to drive. You feel like you have that passing power on the freeway. Um, this is definitely like your everyday kind of sportier car so if you want to have some fun when you drive and you want something that you know looks great on the street and is going to turn some heads this is going to be the car for you um, you know it's kind of in the same region as like an audi a4 a bmw 3 series um, that kind of echelon so you know if you want something a little different to stand out from the crowd and not be in the sea of mercedes bmw and audi which is what LA is right now. I don't think I've ever seen, I've seen like one or two of the Julias around LA, but I've seen so many BMWs. And it's probably because Alfa Romeo is new to the States. It's only a few years old in the States and they're still kind of getting their bearings because I don't think a lot of Americans understand or know about Alfa Romeo other than it's a foreign car. So, you know, I think it's gonna take a little getting used to, more people seeing them, getting behind the wheel. I mean, I posted this on the Instagram and I had five people DM me what kind of car this was, where it's from, what's it, what, what's it like to drive. A few people actually said they took test drives in it and they loved it and it was the next car that they were getting. So, here we go. Oh, I do need to mention that it does have that auto off feature to save gas, which personally, I'm not a fan of, but it's a quick fix with one button. You can turn it off. But yeah, it's definitely, it just, I feel like the car is breaking. And so, like every car has it now. It's not just Alfa Romeo. But I feel like every time the car turns off, I'm like, did I just stall? Because I'm so used to driving stick shift. And, you know, that's just one thing that I definitely 
am not a fan of of any of the future cars. I mean, I get saving the gas mileage and you have to do it for fuel efficiency and you get a better EPA rating if you have it on there. <sighs> Sweat is rip, dripping down my face. But this is almost over, so bear with me, guys. This car is super stylish. It looks great from the street. It looks great inside. The leather's awesome. The carbon accents aren't over the top and too sporty, in my opinion. Um, the instrument cluster is easy to use. It's easy to connect your iPhone, Bluetooth, um, the air conditioning and all that is super straightforward. I think there's like four or five USB connections in here, so you will never lose charge on your phone. And then the back seats are heated as well as the front seats and the steering wheel, so it's crazy. One last thing before we go, paddle shifters are mounted to the steering column and not on the steering wheel, but they are huge. So, you know, even if you're turning a little bit, you'll still be able to find the paddle shifters to shift up and down. It is not a huge deal. And some people prefer them on the column. Some people like them on the steering wheel. I don't have a preference either way, as long as I can grab them. And um, yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this review of the Alfa Romeo Giulia. If you guys like us doing car reviews, comment down below. Let us know in the comments what car we should do next, what car you just bought, what cars you are looking to buy. We always like to take a look at you know what you guys are into. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. We are here every week, way less sweaty. <laughs> Sorry guys, yes, we are here every week and way less sweaty, usually dressed up a little better, but I just wanted to get this car review out there. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button or followed us on Instagram, please do that right now. We really appreciate it. And I am going to turn the air conditioning on right now because I am about to die. Whew. Oh yes, so much better. Cheers guys.